I am Bonnie Barker with BonnieBayCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a pair of matching cabled mitts. This actually goes along with a cabled headband that is another video on my homepage. To get to this video for the headband just go to my homepage and you can put cabled headband in the search bar and it should come up for you. Well anyway, um, if you have never been to my channel before please hit that subscribe button and if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget that notification bell so that you don't miss any other of the new things that I have coming your way. Well, let me go ahead and show you what you're going to need. For this project, I'm recommending Elvin Tweed's Knit One Crochet Two Yarn. You're going to need two scans of this. Two scans will make the mitts as well as the matching headband. So you're going to need two scans for both projects. Um, you will need at least two for the mitts alone as well. Okay, each of these um, scans has approximately 208 yards or 190 meters or 50 grams of material. Um, the contents of this is 60% merino wool, 20% baby llama, and yes, it does feel amazing, and 10% bamboo, 10% Donegal. So go ahead and get your materials together. And let me show you the crochet hook. We are using a size G, or six or 4.00 millimeter crochet hook. And as always, I'm recommending that you have a yarn needle and a pair of sharp scissors handy. Let's go ahead and begin. Before we start, let me go ahead and cast a vision here as to where we're starting and where we will be ending up. Okay, we're gonna begin with the ribbing. There will be six rows of the ribbing, and then we will begin our pattern stitch with the cables and the, and the post stitches. And then we will make the opening for the thumb. Let me show you how this works. Okay, so the thumb. And then we will work, continue working in pattern stitch until we complete the edging as the last row. So let me go ahead and show you what we have there. And let's go ahead and start. We will start this project with our slip knot. And then we will chain 40 chains. After chaining those 40 chains, being careful not to twist the chain, go ahead and join to the first chain with a slip stitch to form a circle. Slip stitch, chain two, one, two, and for row, I'm sorry, for round one, because we're going to be working in rounds, go ahead and starting in the same place where you joined, we're going to work a double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And notice that I'm actually going to try to hide this loose thread as I work my first round of double crochets. So go ahead and finish that round and I will show you the join. After crocheting these all the way around, and just as a side note, this chain two does not count as one of the 40 double crochets. So you do need to make sure that you have 40 double crochets. And then we join with a slip stitch to that first, top of that first stitch of the round, chain two. Now the next five rows, we will not be um, turning, but just working continually, or you know, after you join, we will not be turning our work. Okay, so we're going to work a front post double crochet over the first two stitches. And then after we do that, we're going to do two back post double crochets. Again, coming in the back side of that stitch. I'll do these stitches again slowly. For those of you who have never seen, let me try that one again, who've never seen post stitches before, because it's such an easy thing quick and easy thing to learn. For a front post double crochet, you simply wrap your hook and instead of going in through the top loops, we're going to put the hook around, let me show you, around the stitch like you're giving it a belt and then complete the stitch as normal and do two of those, one in each of the next two stitches. And then for back post double crochet, we again prepare the hook for a regular double crochet, but Instead of working through the top loops, we come in the back way and we like give it a belt, but we tie it on the back side, completing the stitch the way you normally would. So hopefully that 
22nd tutorial is helpful for you. So we're going to just work this alternating two front post double crochets and then two back post all the way around and I'll show you the join. Okay, at the end of round two, we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that first stitch of the round. Chain two. Now the next four rows are going to be a repeat of what we just did with row two, or round two rather. Go ahead and work two front post double crochets, and this should be worked over front post double crochets of the last round. So that's going to be the repeat all the way around. Two front post double crochets, followed by two back post double crochets. So go ahead and work that, and then I'll show you the join at the end of this row. Again, join with a slip stitch to the top stitch, and then go ahead and work that three more times until you have six rounds completed. After completing those six rounds with the ribbing, your cuff should look like this. Now we're ready to move on to round number seven. We're going to chain two, and we're going to begin our pattern stitch. We're going to skip the first two stitches here, and in the next two stitches we're going to work front post treble crochets. Worked very similar, just like the double crochet, except that we wrap our hook twice to make that a front post treble crochet. Okay, now working in front of those last two stitches that we just completed, we're going to work front post treble crochets and the two stitches that we just skipped. Okay, now the next four stitches, we're going to work front post double crochets. three and four. And let's take a minute to, to look at this. And that's going to be your repeat all the way around. You should have five repeats total. Skip two stitches, front post, treble crochet in the next two stitches. Working in front of those last two stitches, we're going to front post, treble crochet in those two stitches that we just skipped. And then front post treble, nope, nope, front post double crochet, I almost caught myself, front post double in the next four stitches. So go ahead and repeat that all the way around. At the end of the round, we join with a slip stitch to that first treble crochet, front post treble of the round. Now we are going to turn our work. This is the first time we're turning, and we are going to turn at the end of every round working this pattern stitch. We're going to chain two, and we are just simply going to work back post double crochets in each stitch all the way around. I'll go ahead and work the first eight with you. Okay, so that was the first four. And then now coming upon the crossed cable portion, you just do the back post double crochets in order. Now this one, you make sure you come around. And this would be a good time for me to explain. If I am going too fast for you, I apologize first off. But I want to give you a solution. If you look in the bottom corner here, if you're watching the right-handed, it's going to be on this side for the left-handed. There's a little gear icon. If you just click on that, and you can select playback speed, and you can slow down the video to half speed, three-quarters speed, or whatever speed you determine. If you find this video uh, boring and not fast enough, you can actually speed it up. If you're watching from a phone, there'll be three vertical dots here. Left-hand version, it'll be over here. And if you click on that, you can do the same thing. It'll bring up a playback speed, and you can select from that menu how fast you want the video to play. This works for all my videos and any of the videos on YouTube, as far as I'm aware. So I hope that helps you. So go ahead and finish those back post double crochets all the way around, and I'll show you the join.
At the end of the round, join with a slip stitch to that first stitch of the round. And now we're going to turn. Now for the next four rounds, we are simply going to repeat round seven and eight two more times. I'll go ahead and get you started, but I'm going to go ahead and work the next four rounds. Okay, first of all, for round number nine, skip two stitches. And again, front post treble, just like we did on round seven. In those front post treble in those first two stitches, working in front of those last two stitches, we're going to front post treble in the two stitches that we just skipped. I'll just work a few of these for you so that you see what it's going to look like. And then we front post a double crochet in the next four stitches. And this is what this cabling section is going to look like. So go ahead and complete rows 9, 10, 11, and 12. Again, that's a repeat of row 7 and 8 two more times. At the end of that last row, we're joining with a slip stitch. This is ending row 12. Go ahead and turn. Now this is row 13, where we're going to add the thumb hole. So go ahead and chain two and continue in the pattern stitch with the skip two and work two front post treble crochets, just like we've been doing in those next stitches. Working in front of the last two stitches, we're going to front post treble in the next two stitches. And four front post double crochets, one in each of the next stitches. And we're going to repeat this around, but when you get to the last eight stitches, stop. Okay, do not do those last eight stitches. I will show you what to do when you get to this point. Once you come to the last eight stitches, go ahead and chain eight chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and join with a slip stitch to that first stitch of the round. And just for clarification, the right-handed and the left-handed gloves are made exactly the same. So when you go ahead and finish one mitt, go ahead and finish another in the same way. Now we're going to turn, chain two, and working along that chain, we are just going to work eight double crochets over that chain. I'm not working them in the individual chains themselves at all. I'm just working over the entire chain, as you can see. Okay, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's make sure that we have eight of those. That's going to be very important. And then we continue working back post double crochets over each of the stitches all the way around. And I'll go ahead and work that and then I'll show you the join at the end of this round. At the end of this round, join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. And we're going to turn and now we are just going to continue working in pattern stitch just the way we have been. And when we come to these eight stitches, I'll show you what to do, but it's going to be just con to continue the pattern stitch. So go ahead and chain two, skip two, front post, treble crochet over the next two stitches. Working in front of those last two stitches, we're going to front post treble in the two stitches that we skipped. And then we work our four front post double crochets. So I'll go ahead and finish this and I'll show you the last eight stitches of the round. Once we come to the last eight stitches, we are going to just continue the pattern stitch, skip two stitches, front post treble, the next two, and working in front of those last two stitches, we're going to front post 
treble crochet in those two stitches that we just skipped. And then we work front post double crochets in the next four stitches. That's three and four. And then join with a slip stitch to that first stitch of the round. And you should have your thumb hole complete. For row 16, we're going to chain two turn and we're going to work back post double crochets all the way around just the way we've been doing. So go ahead and work those all the way around. At the end of round 16, join with a slip stitch in that first stitch of the round and turn. Now, okay, so now I'm going to give you a small assignment. The next eight rows are going to be repeating the last two rows that we just did four more times. So go ahead and repeat these last two rows four more times and then I'll show you what I have. After 24 rounds, this is what you should have. And let's go ahead and turn and look at the other side. Okay, now we're ready to work the last round. And this is the decorative edging. For that, we're going to chain one, starting in the first stitch, one of those front post or back post double crochets. We're going to single crochet, chain two, and then work a double crochet in that same place. Skip the next stitch, and then we're going to repeat that every other stitch. Single crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. And skip the next stitch, and in the next single crochet, chain two, and double crochet. So go ahead and work that all the way around, skipping every other stitch. After working this all the way around, just join with a slip stitch in the first stitch of the round. Give it a chain and a tug. And go ahead and clip a generous strand so that it will be easy to hide. Okay. So let's take a look at our edging here. Very nice. Now let me give you just a quick tutorial on how to hide any loose strands that you may have. This may actually be the only one since we worked over the first one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring this down into this double crochet carefully. There are a lot of different ways you can do this, by the way. This is not the only way. And then I like to hide them underneath, hide them underneath the, the stitches of that last stitch, or you could weave it down into, you know, further into the stitch. Let me go ahead and do that as well and just show you how you can do both, or you can just pick one of these. It's whatever you'd like to do. You can weave it further down just like that and you can continue to go down but I'm going to just end it right here since I believe that's going to be fine to hide that and go ahead and give it a clip and that strand is effectually hidden. Well I hope you enjoyed making the cabled mitts with me today. If so please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. God bless. Bye-bye.